Hey guys, Brian Carp, sales giant, illiterate millionaire, mailbox money. I am here with a deck of 52 cards and I pulled out three cards and this deck was sitting on my desk. Uh, one of the boys left it for me and it brings me back to a story when I was scammed by a three card Monty player on a bus ride to the mall, which was Sunrise Mall at that time. Hey guys, so I'm Brian Carp. I'm the sales giant. Uh, I'm the number one real estate agent in Long Island, New York. I am a real estate investor, developer, buy and hold investor, uh, cash flow obsessed human being. And I've learned a lot of things in the almost two decades of being an entrepreneur and almost decade and a half of being a real estate agent and investor. And, you know, this was an amazing lesson that I learned when I was, I'm going to say I'm like 10 years old. So I got invited by my older brother, Adam, to go to Roosevelt Field Mall to go to the mall with him and a few of his friends. And my mother gave me a little bit of money to go shopping with. And we're on the bus ride to Roosevelt Field Mall, which is on Sunrise Highway. So it took you from Belmore, where I grew up, probably about 30 minutes straight run all the way to Roosevelt Field Mall. And out of nowhere, this guy comes up to us who's doing three card Monty. And for you guys who don't know what three card Monty is, it's basically a card game. He folded all these cards like sideways and he put them down on a newspaper he used as uh, as like his, I don't know, um, table because we were on a moving bus. And he said, does any of you guys want to play three card Monty? So of course, my brother's three years, my senior. So if I'm in sixth grade or seventh grade, I want to say I was in seventh grade. He was probably in like 10th, right? So we all gather around and the guy's like, oh, you can play for free. You can play for free. So we're watching him and we're all winning. And basically what it is, is he shows you one card. You just have to follow that card. He flips the cards around and then you have to guess where that card is. So long story short, we play a few rounds and we win every round. And he's like, guys, if you were playing for money, you would have already be, you know, um, 20, 40, 60, $80 richer and you can double your money. So I'm like, no, 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 because I've never been a gambler, right? Never in my entire life have I ever been someone who thought I can get, uh, you know, double my money quick or get rich quick or make money, you know, by gambling or, get, you know, make money the easy way. So he's like, listen, let me do it one step better. And he rips a piece of the newspaper off and he puts it on the card that we're supposed to follow. And he's like, this game, I'm going to put the thing. All you got to do is follow the card. And I put an earmark on it. So I'm like, I got this. I got this. I got this. So I bet $20. Now, $20 30 years ago, right? Because what am I? I'm 40. So I was 10, 11. So maybe 28 years ago was a lot of money. And for a young person like myself, especially someone who's been always very frugal and very concerned about money and saving money and accumulating money, this is a lot for me. And I bet the money. And guess what happened? Yeah, you're right. I lost. So I won every single round when there was no money involved. I won every single round when there was no earmark to the um, to the card. But as soon as it was my opportunity to play, I lost. And I was devastated. Like near, if I didn't want to get made fun of by the older uh, boys, near tears. Right? Like crying. Um, don't remember if I bought anything at the mall that day, probably because I spent all the money my mom gave me. And then I got home and I was so upset and I have such a special relationship with my mother. I could not not tell her. I think she had to like beat it out of me, you know, it took a little while, um, for her to, to get me to say what really happened. And I said, what happened? And, you know, she taught me a lesson that in life, you're not going to get rich quick. You're not going to get wealthy, uh, you know, quickly. It's going to take hard work and a lot of hard work to get ahead, right? And I always wanted my entire life to get ahead. I always wanted to win and I wanted to be the best at everything. And what I learned from that day was something that kind of came full circle uh, a few weeks ago. And I, I realized that I've been working six days a week, sometimes even seven days a week for almost a decade and a half. And when I started to add up the amount of hours, I said, let's just say hypothetically, I worked for one year straight and I worked an extra Saturday when the average person was just working five days a week. I realized that I would have 50 
extra days that I was working compared to the average person. And then I said, okay, well, let's times this by 10 years. And that would give me an extra year. And then I've been working my real estate business for a year and a half, for a decade and a half. So I said, well, that's 15 years that I've been working religiously every Saturday, right? And I'm sure there was a Saturday I took off, but then I would work a Sunday. And there was some times in the, in the beginning, guys, I was working seven days a week. And I still today, right, work a little bit on Saturdays and a little bit of catching up and organizing for the upcoming week on Sundays. So I said, you know what, there, there's, no, there's no reason why I've been able to build this incredible real estate business. There, it's not, you know, it's not luck that I was able to build one of the largest no debt rental portfolios in Long Island, right? There was, it's not luck that I became the number one real estate agent. It's, I just worked. Right, I, I realized what my mom said to me that day after being so devastated, feeling like someone punched me in the gut when this kid, uh, it wasn't a kid, it was a young man who took advantage of a young kid, um, but he taught me a great lesson that day that basically all I decided was I was going to outwork everybody else. And I know we all talk about working these crazy long days, so that's, that's expected of you guys. But if you just break it down like I just did, if you just put a Saturday in for a year, that means you work 50 more days than the average person who is basically just working five days a week. So for all of my entrepreneurs um, and people who work for themselves and have their own businesses, guys, there's no, there, you shouldn't be embarrassed or upset that you've had all this success. And it's not luck compared to your friend who is just working a nine to five job working Monday through Friday, right? In one year, you've already added 50 extra days of work. And when I look back on now being in the real estate game for a decade and a half as a real estate agent and a real estate uh, buy and hold investor, I put in an extra year and a half. So it's basically like you slept in for a year and a half or took off a year and a half. So I don't think there's any reason why that every single person who's watching this video cannot achieve whatever their goals are. You just have to be willing to do what others are not doing. So if you guys like this video, um, give it a thumbs up, um, share this channel, write me a comment. The only way we're gonna build this community and I will continue to do content for you guys if you like it, is if you help me build this channel and share it. Uh, if you don't like it, Give me a thumbs down. If you think I'm a hack, tell me I'm a hack, right? Uh, thank you so much. And that was the three card Monty story from my childhood. See you guys next time.